Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSP Mini Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Blast Off, which I've never played it before. Bit of a hard one to describe, so I'll just go into showing it, because the options are stupidly basic. It's uh, auto save on or off, music, sound effects, or view of the how to play. Anyway, there's 45 levels on the game and it basically ranks up under difficulty and this is yet another case of haven't exactly got much unlocked on the PS3 version because it's I'm playing it on the PSP version. So anyway, I'll start off with the basic stuff. The whole point is you have to blast off, collect the people and go into the portal. And the portal's got gravity as does pretty much everything else that gets in your way as an obstacle. So that's the basic level. I'm just going to basically cut into one of them that's a little less basic a la this one here. So this one, it may look so simple it's unbelievable because you've just got three people circling around a planet. However, as soon as you get it off your planet, if you don't boost, you crash straight into it because it's got a greater centre of gravity. So you have to use your boost to basically avoid crashing into the planet, collect the people and then go into the portal. The portal or warp room or whatever the hell you want to call it, basically has uh, as you might be able to notice, arcs on it and they light up whenever you get a person and it basically means that you don't have to collect all the people however you've got to collect all the people for a gold medal so there I'm just collecting two this time and well to be fair it still shows up gold star but that's because I've got it before but usually it will be a silver star you'll just have to trust me on that so that's basically the type of gameplay it is and you just go through it and do this for the 45 levels as they get harder and harder and harder and harder this one here took me quite a long time because the centre of gravity is so great you've just got to get your timing right and you've got to basically follow the gravity and follow the, the curling like that so yeah if you like these sorts of games it's one of the best that I've played in a very very long time and it's an incredibly cheap price for a mini and for something that's actually quite long for a mini as well. So yeah, that's pretty much everything there is to mention about the gameplay. I'll just shut up and let you listen to a bit of the music because I quite like it and as you can see graphically it's pretty cool. So there we go then, that was a bit of the music, and pretty much the only things I can mention that I've just realised I haven't mentioned are that you've got an air limit and a fuel limit, so you can't just take forever to think of things if, like for example, you launch and need to think because you've run out of air, and you can't just permanently boost because you've run out of fuel. You can think of things as long as you want to while you're on the planet, so for example like this, because the air meter is actually a power meter, and that's basically for when you launch because when you have to relaunch, of which when you crash it does it or you can push the L button and it immediately does it it basically saves you the exact same thing that you've done last for your launch so the exact position, exact power so that you can just relaunch if you think that you got a good launch if you didn't think that was your problem etc etc so yeah that really is then everything there is to say so there we go then, that's been the review I hope you've enjoyed it or at least found it helpful you might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well, that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well, that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.